Hello everyone, I am Dr. Prajwit Rai. Today we are going to discuss about the pig zone insertion method or the pig zim. Now, what is this pig line? Now, the pig line is nothing but a peripherally inserted central line. Now, what is the peripherally inserted central line? We select a vein in the periphery of the of the hand that is a vein that is present in the arm and we send a catheter all the way very close to the heart. Now, this uh, catheter can be used for a long period of time uh, for giving any medications and for aspiration of the blood whenever it is required. Now, what is the use of this? Why do we use pic, uh, peripherally inserted central line? Why cannot we use regular IV cannula? Now, what happens when we use an IV cannula? The vein caliber is very small and whatever the medicine that we give goes and irritates the vein and blocks the vein. So, after uh, what, three to four days, the, the peripheral line will be occluded. So, because of this, there will be repeated need for a repeated puncture. So, what is the next option that we have? We have a central line. Now, what? How is the central line put? It is directly puncturing the in uh, the jugular vein and going very close to the heart and placing the catheter. Now, the problem with this is this this will solve the problem of the peripheral vein. That is, but uh, this can be used almost for few weeks to few months it can be used up to one or two months as well but it has the dressing has to be changed every week but the problem with this is it will be uh, sticking out of the neck and the patient cannot do the regular activities whereas in the peripherally inserted central line it will be coming from the periphery going all the way very close to the heart so we can use it for a very long time and it can be used as long as 18 months that is one and a half years we can use this uh, once the peripheral inserted central line is placed and we can do our regular activities like work school sexual activities showering or mild exercise so we can do our regular activities so that is the importance of this peripherally inserted central line but what is the problem with this it has its own problems because we keep this for long time there can be catheter related bloodstream infections because there is a gap between catheter and the skin the infection can go through it if there is regular friction between the the catheter and the skin and there is no tight opposition of the skin and the catheter also because we are placing a foreign body within the lumen of the vein it can induce thrombosis and it can cause a deep venous thrombosis of the venous pathway where it is going and once the thrombosis is formed it can get dislodged leading to pulmonary embolism and it can cause post thrombotic syndrome so these are the complications associated with the pick line insertion now how can we minimize this pick uh, these complications of pick line insertion by placing the pick line such a way that we are allowing minimal possibility of infection minimum chances of thrombosis now how we do it now, whenever we insert a pick line, we usually insert in the arm. Now, this is the arm of the patient. Now, usually we ask the patient to keep the arm ex externally rotated, extended with the flexion of the elbow so that the inner aspect of the arm is exposed. Why is this? Now, there are multiple uh, veins in the arm. There is a basilic vein. There is a brachial vein and there is a cephalic vein now it is noted that the minimum uh, chances of thrombosis or minimum chances of complication is associated with uh, the basilic vein then it is the brachial vein and the maximum complication maximum thrombosis is associated with cephalic vein so that's why the basilic vein is the first preferred then the brachial vein and if no option is left, that is when we uh, we puncture the cephalic vein. Now, this is uh, very important 
because of this we always prefer a basilic vein now also in the arm we can puncture anywhere but why do we prefer this green zone the, we divide the arm uh, and the entire arm if it is 21 centimeter we divide it into 7 centimeter each now the the very distal part of this is called as red zone from the epicondyle we measure from the medial epicondyle till the axillary line we measure uh, from the medial epicondyle till the axillary line and then we divide it into three zones the distal most zone is called red zone the first 77 centimeter from the elbow joint now this area when is not an ideal site for uh, the placement of catheter because of the two reasons one the vein the basilic vein here will be smaller in size and it is very superficial in location and whenever we flex the hand the the way the catheter keeps moving it gets uh, crushed it gets pulled pushed because of the movement in the elbow joint so because of this the infection rate increases because of this also the thrombosis chances are increases so very high complication rate in this area so we avoid this red zone now the area very close to the axilla there are a lot of hairs here and there is a lot of sweating happening the area is very moist so we place a catheter here the bandage that we have put keeps on coming off and also uh, the moist surface and presence of hair increases the chance of infection in the axilla so we avoid the placement of a uh, pick line in this yellow zone now the zone which is present in between is called as a green zone so this is the place where we ideally have to place a pick line now even in this the 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 zone that is closer the, the upper half of the green zone is the ideal site for the placement of a pick line now if you see this this is the red zone this is the green zone and this is the yellow zone so here we can see that the size of the vein is small in the red zone and it is closer to the skin whereas uh, in case of the green zone the depth is more and the size of the vein is uh, bigger when we compare to the yellow zone the size of the vein is not uh, the much bigger than compared to that of the the green zone but the depth increases a lot so the ideal site for the placement is in the green zone specifically in the upper half of the green zone in the upper half of the green zone is an ideal site for placement because of a large vein when you place a small catheter it will not completely occlude it chance of thrombosis reduces there is no chance of in infection like that we saw in the yellow zone and there is no chance of infection thrombosis like that we saw in the red zone so ideal site of placement of uh, a pick line is in the mid in the uh, in the green zone in the upper half of the green zone so this uh, is what is the zone of insertion in a pick pick line now the size of the pick line also becomes very important because uh, the, as we, the size becomes bigger, the chance of thrombosis increases. Uh, the chance of thrombosis increases because the lumen will be completely occluded. So what size can be placed uh, in different uh, age groups? Now whenever the patient weight is less than 10 kgs, we can use 3 French. More than 10 kg, we can use 4 French. And more than 50 kgs, we can use 5 French of the pick line so this is the ideal sizes of the pick line but the key to understand is as we increase the size of the pick line or increase the number of the lumen of the pick line so we can use a pick lines which can be a single lumen or it can have two lumen or it can have three lumens so we can use pick lines with multiple lumens but as we increase the number of lumens the each lumen size will be very small that is one thing also as we increase the size of the pick line the the lumen of the vein gets obliterated so because of this chances of uh, thrombosis increases once the thrombosis happens the other complications also increases so and this and as i told uh, if there are multiple lumens 
the chances of peak line getting obstructed also increases so because of this if higher the size higher chance of complication more the number of lumens more a uh, chance of complication very important to uh, remember that whenever we do a pick line we should use a smallest size pick line with smallest number of lumens in the green zone and upper half of the the green zone in the upper half of the green zone we have to use the pick line this is the zone of insertion of the pick line and basilic vein we prefer if not brachial vein and last preferred is the cephalic vein thank you